Hello everybody and a welcome to another tutorial. Today it's creating and texturing rocks. This is texture painting tutorial number two, level one. Let's get started. Open up your blender program and we're going to use the cube that is already there. I want you to go into edit mode, press A to select the cube, press W and then click subdivide smooth three times. All right, next you're going to play with it and create a shape you like. You're going to go to the tool panel, hit randomize, press smooth vertex and repeat until you have a shape that you really like. Don't overdo the randomize function. It won't look very good. All right, what I'm doing is I'm repeating the process of randomize smooth and scaling. Remember people, this is just for uh, beginners. Level one tutorials are designed for people that have little or no experience with Blender or Sculptures. I just went to the tool panels and went to UB shading and smoothed my faces, edges, and vertices. Now I'm going to edit mode. I'm going to click UV Unwrap and then Smart UV Project. Open a second window. Get rid of that tool panel by clicking T. And change my editor to UV Image Editor. Now back to the 3D View window. File, Export, and OBJ. Good done. Now we're into Sculpture just that fast. So open up Sculptress. As you can see, I have a rock here from a previous. And uh, just to show you what we're going to be doing. So uh, import your rock and keep the resolution at 512. Remember, level 01 tutorials are for absolute beginners, so we stay with defaults. All right, we just want you up and creating as fast as possible. I'm using the exact same texture set that I used for the uh, planet, our tutorial for texturing number one. So in case uh, you're kind of confused and you don't know what I'm doing with textures or how to import them, please check out tutorial number one, texturing a planet. All right, I'm using my lizard. Lizard seems to be my favorite underpainting material. I don't know why I always use it. Um, so as you can see, I'm playing with my property sliders, my size, strength, and hardness, because I want to keep everything varied. Here we go. This is a fish that I'm putting on right now, and uh, my strength is kind of weak. Strength refers to, again, as your transparency. And you look at the cursor, though, how it's flashing blue. That's my left mouse button flashing, because I have it set really transparent. And if I want to darken it, I just really fast all right now I like the leaf uh, for the rock because leaf has green and a lot of rocks if they've been out forever they picked up some uh, coloration from the foliage or maybe some moss and we also have texture like striations in the leaf veining again I'm using the exact same texture set that we used for planet and what I intend to do with these first level, level one tutorials, is um, I want to show you that you can actually reuse your textures for different projects. Um, here's the giraffe. All right, giving it a little uh, feeling of illustration there. Um, rocks are very old and they have a lot of, a lot of years and they've seen a lot. So we kind of want to make them nice and textured. This is wood here. Uh, this is wood. I'm using wood to kind of, uh, you know, give the darkened, darkened edges of it. So my tutorials uh, are for beginner Blender users. And they're also for uh, people who are into Unity or uh, the Unreal Engine. And they love to make games. But... They're not really into the artsy side and they want a quick way to build a rock. 
They want a quick way to add assets without having to go out and pay for them. So I'm hoping this will kind of help you out a bit. Because a lot of these images, like what I'm using here is spider webbing from Pixabay. It's the, uh, you know, the stuff you use for Halloween decorations. And I just chose that to kind of give a little striation of things. I just kind of like uh, want to show you that it's kind of possible to build your own assets. All right, another lizard. All right, again, I do this off the hoof, so to speak. I really uh, don't have any rhyme or reason when I'm doing this. I just look at it and say, I think I want to try that. And if you're a beginner, it's good to start with planets and rocks because you're getting a little bit of a feel on how to do this. Like, this is a goldfish right here. How about it? This texture is a goldfish. But when it gets on a rock, it's nothing but a little bit of color. Nice, gorgeous, varied color. I'm liking that. But so many of you out there, you know, um, especially if you're young, you need the free programs. You need Sculptress, which is made by Pixelogic, actually, which makes uh, ZBrush. You need a uh, Blender, uh, and you can't afford a lot of these asset packages for your first games. So hopefully my tutorials will help you out. Now I'm going into the rock now, and I'm kind of adding some rock imagery there. I got these off of Pixabay, by the, by the way. There you go. We're hitting the rock. Okay. Six minutes into it, we're doing pretty good. So yeah, I got my images from Pixabay, publicdomain.net, or if you go to a search engine and make sure that your filter is like a reuse, a reuse filter labeled for reuse, you should have like uh, no issues there. Sand I got. I'd like to toy a little bit more with sand. I think it's, or gravel. I think that gravel would have been a nice one for me to choose. Um, so I'm kind of taking a peek there. Clouds. Now, clouds seem to me that would give me that, like, gray, a black and white cloud, you know, image. It give me that, like, model look. So I chose that for that reason. Going back to add some dark patches here. Some wood and things. And I use that for the dark patches. It gives it, like, a nice, like, burnt, like, dark, dark look. So this is good, like, especially for the non-artists out there. Level one is for you. I'll even be doing some level one basic rigging. Not that scary. Here we go. We're seven minutes into the tutorial, and how about it? Again, as you can see, I'm diddling now. I have my basic coloration in, and I know I'm kind of fiddling with it. And uh, fear not, fearless gamers out there, or people who love to do 3D art, you will pick this up. And I want you to make me proud. I want you to learn this technique. And uh, this is especially good, especially if you're a very new to, uh, like, for example, the Unreal Engine, and you aren't really sure about how to do material nodes, but you want to make something interesting, texture painting is a way to uh, get by that if you're a beginner. You know, texture painting and sculptures, learning how to texture paint is a good way to do it. We're almost done here. I'm diddling around now, fiddling. All right. Remember, people, I put new tutorials up every Sunday. It's good to have you on board, and I uh, hope you all make me proud. I'd love to see some of your work someday. Put them in the comments section. Some of the things that you've created using this technique. I'm also going to put up drawing tutorials for drawing freehand. We're going to save our rock. Remember, you always want to save it. There you go. And there's your rock. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, remember, do me proud. Stay strong. Stay awesome. See you next Sunday.